You may be hearing that Barbados is going through a period of social unease now, but that is nothing compared to 1937. Barbados, exactly 80 years ago, was transformed into a militant society, burning, looting, and destroying. And it's all because one of their popular trade unionists was deported. I was unborn, but my grandma tell me. In 1937, Clement Payne was Barbados' most popular trade unionist. Around the time of the riots, he led black Barbadians to stand up to the white planter class and even led a workers' march to government house. The government and the police were not happy with his well-attended meetings and the growing support he had from the public, and he was soon in trouble with the law. In 1937, they accused him of being in the country illegally since he was born in Trinidad, although he had spent his life in Barbados. Authorities packed him on a boat back to TNT and the people were not having it. They rioted for four days, beginning July 26. According to records, angry crowds smashed store windows along Broad Street, damaged vehicles or stole them, overturning them or pushing them into the sea. They hijacked public buses and crashed them, broke street lamps, vandalized the Empire Theatre, the Bethel Methodist Church and many other buildings. Stores were looted and rioters attempted to burn them down. The police and the British Navy were called in and they eventually opened fire on the demonstrators. In the end, 14 people were killed and 47 wounded. It was a horrific period, but there was a silver lining. A commission of investigation into the situation determined that Clement Peen and the demonstrators had good reason to oppose the then government, and the report insisted his proposed changes be implemented. This included the introduction of trade union legislation. Just four years after the historic riots, Clement Peen died in Trinidad, and 57 years after his death, he was proclaimed a national hero. Today we still observe the riots as a monumental shift in Barbados' validation of workers' rights. In 2017, trade unionists still have a lot on their plates, but without a doubt, the Barbadian reaction has come a long way from the violent protests of 1937. Denise Blackman, CBC News.